Diabetes mellitus Type 1 diabetes is a chronic disease in which there is a high level of sugar in the blood. Diabetes mellitus commonly known as diabetes, insulin dependent diabetes or juvenile diabetes is a autoimmune condition where our pancreas produces little or no insulin. Type 1 diabetes equally affects males and females and diagnosed most commonly between ages 10 and 16. Blood glucose is the main source of energy and comes from the food we eat. Insulin is needed to move blood sugar into cells. Inside the cells, glucose is stored and later used for energy. In type 1 diabetes, the body does not make enough insulin to control blood sugar levels. When there is absence of insulin, glucose stays in our blood and doesn't reach our cells. As a result, glucose from food accumulates in the bloodstream rather than entering the cells and our body cannot use this glucose for energy. Too much accumulated glucose leads to a rise in blood sugar which then causes symptoms to develop. Causes the exact cause is unknown. Most likely it's an autoimmune disorder. It can occur at any age and most oftenly diagnosed in children, adolescents or young adults. Genes may play a role. Most common causes include viral infection. It can be triggered by a virus such as the common flu or cold or following a viral infection such as mumps, rubella, measles influenza, polio, etc. Very rarely, type 1 diabetes can be triggered by an injury or trauma to the pancreas. Signs and Symptoms Diabetes symptoms are caused by rising blood sugar. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes can start quickly in a matter of weeks. Diabetes can affect almost every part of your body. Therefore, you will need to manage your blood glucose levels also called blood sugar. Managing your blood glucose as well as your blood pressure and cholesterol can help prevent the health problems that can occur when you have diabetes. The most common symptoms of type 1 diabetes are increased or excessive hunger and thirst, increased urination and unexplained weight loss. This is because the increased glucose in the blood causes the kidneys to create more urine than usual. Losing more fluid in the urine makes a person dehydrated and dehydration leads to great thirst. Other symptoms may include weakness, extreme fatigue, headache, nausea, nervousness, irritability, rapid heartbeat, shaking, sweating, dehydration, mood swings, increased appetite, blurry eyesight, feeling numbness or tingling in the feet, sores that do not heal, urinating more often and low blood sugar. In addition to the general symptoms of diabetes, men with diabetes may have a decreased sex drive and erectile dysfunction. Women with diabetes can also have symptoms such as urinary tract infections and yeast infections. When type 1 diabetes goes untreated, it can lead to organ failure, coma and even death. This happens because the body can no longer turn glucose into energy and it starts burning fat which then produces ketones in the blood and urine. When they build up in the blood, it's called ketoacidosis. It can cause heart problems and affect the nervous system and within hours it may put a person at risk of coma and death. Chronic Symptoms Eye damage, nerve damage, foot problems, kidney disease, heart problems and hypoglycemia. Diabetes is diagnosed with the following blood tests. Fasting blood glucose test. Blood is taken in the morning after fasting overnight. Random blood glucose test. A blood sugar of 200 mg per deciliter or greater at any time of the day combined with symptoms such as increased thirst, urination and fatigue. Oral glucose tolerance test. If the glucose level is 200 mg per deciliter or higher 2 hours after you drink glucose drink. Glycated hemoglobin test. This test measures the average amount of glucose level over the prior 2 or 3 months. Diabetes is diagnosed if the result of the test is 6.5% or higher. Treatment. 
Type 1 diabetes is a lifelong disease. Insulin is the main treatment for type 1 diabetes. Insulin lowers blood sugar by allowing it to leave the bloodstream and enter cells. Most commonly, insulin is injected under the skin using a syringe, insulin pen or insulin pump. Insulin can't be taken in pill form because the digestive juices in the stomach would destroy the insulin before it could work. People with type 1 diabetes need regular checkups. If a person takes too much insulin relative to their dietary intake or if they forget to eat, they can develop dangerous hypoglycemia. If they take too little insulin or eat too much, they can develop ketoacidosis. They must carefully monitor their blood sugar levels, dietary intake and their dose of insulin every day. They must receive insulin treatment throughout life. There are different types of insulin. They are differentiated by how quickly they start to work and how long their effects last. Rapid acting insulin, short acting insulin, intermediate acting insulin and long acting insulin. Ask your doctor which insulin works best for your diabetic type. You are the most important person and it's your responsibility to manage your diabetes. Hence you should know the basic steps of diabetes management including planning your meals, managing blood sugar and knowing how to adjust food and insulin. A healthy diet and regular exercise are very important particularly for people with diabetes. Talk to your doctor how much and when to exercise to best control your diabetes. A person with type 1 diabetes is advised to eat, exercise and take insulin at about the same times every day. Regular habits help to keep glucose levels within the normal range. To check your blood sugar level, you use a device called a glucose meter. You need to prick your finger with a small needle to get a tiny drop of blood and then place the blood on a test strip and put the strip into the glucose meter. The meter gives you a reading that tells you the level of your blood sugar. You can treat early signs of hypoglycemia at home by drinking orange juice, eating sugar or candy or by taking glucose tablets. If signs of hypoglycemia continue or your blood glucose level is below 60 mg per deciliter, consult your doctor immediately. Food Care People with diabetes are more likely to have food problems. Diabetes damages the nerves. This can make your feet less able to feel pressure, pain, heat or cold. Frequent feelings of depression and anxiety are very common. Taking care of your emotional health is just as important as your physical health. Steps to relieve stress include listening to relaxing music, deep breathing, yoga, progressive relaxation, to help relieve stress and physical tension. Complications After many years, diabetes can lead to serious health problems. Consult your healthcare provider if you have following symptoms. Eye problems including trouble seeing and sensitivity to light, food source, high blood pressure and cholesterol, infections. High blood sugar can weaken your immune system and make it more prone to get skin and fungal infections. Nerve damage causes pain, itching, tingling and numbness. High blood sugar can lead to kidney damage and failure. Symptoms that your blood sugar is getting too low. Weakness or fatigue, trembling, sweating, irritability, headache, confusion, trouble thinking clearly, rapid heartbeat, blurry vision and feeling uneasy. Symptoms that your blood sugar is too high. Thirst, blurry vision, dry skin, weakness of fatigue and frequent urination. Diabetes can lead to serious medical complications but you can manage the condition with medications and lifestyle changes. Thank you.